Hello guys, and here we are on the video number two, and we're about to disclose the information how to analyze the data. Because when you are creating where you found the product, now you have to validate it and analyze. Of course, there are many more other features and many more other numbers that you're supposed to look at, but today we're going to look at three of them, and I'm going to use the software Datadive. Remember, on the previous video, I told you that there are at least five to six softwares that you have to utilize when you're doing the product research and development. And in each video, we will be looking at least at one. So in this video, we're looking at Datadive and let's dive in. I decided to check out the product for you, which is Unicorn Party Decorations. Something funny and something interesting for everybody. And probably even one of you will decide to launch this product. Let's take a look at some numbers. So when I am using Datadive, I have it on my right corner as an extension. We are having here the whole picture of the product where on the left side, I'm having the list of the product. Then I'm having the ASIN. ASIN is the Amazon sales identification number. Then we're having brand and then we're having price and then we're having revenue. So one of them, one of the decorations is selling $132,000. Somebody selling just for $11,000. And this is the amount of sales. This is the amount of reviews. And then we have other indications as well that we're not going to pay attention at least today. However, what are we going to do? We're going to pick several products from here. I already picked them prior this video to make sure I am not wasting time while the system is analyzing some of those. And then after I pick the products here to analyze them, I'm clicking dive. So I'm having several unicorn party decorations on this page. And then you ask me, okay, those numbers look crazy, like this whole picture with the different colors, what I'm looking at. And we're right now at the master keyword list, and this is where I want you to be with me. I'm sorting out here this column based on the search volume. That means how many people are searching for this product per month. And I'm having here the ideas, for example, unicorn birthday decorations for girls search volume, unicorn party decorations, 19,000 volume searches per month. This number of 148,000, it's an aggregate of amount of searches per month based on the keywords that we're having on this page. So now let's take a look at our competitors and we're looking right now at the green light. If we actually have, so if our competitors are not being ranked on the page one, not being ranked means we we cannot find this product on a page one for this specific keyword. So for example, if I will be looking for unicorn birthday decoration for the girls, I won't be able to find this product, but I will be able to find this product on the spot 14, this product on the spot 18, this one on 10, this one is 7, and this one on the 36. So none of the competitors that I found on unicorn party decorations are not being ranked here, but this one, one of the biggest keywords, right? So then we're having a lot of other different keywords that we can consider as an opportunity for ourselves. Then I have to take a look at another number is my PPC. PPC's pay-per-click is advertisement inside of Amazon account. And I'm looking at this number. So if I want to sell my product for the keyword unicorn party decorations for girls, I have to pay an average 0.74 cents per click. So now when I'm looking at the price of my product, which is $25 or some of them at $7, I don't want to sell anything at $7.99. And this is, I want you to write the note for yourself. We're not selling cheap products. Then I have to pay at least five to seven times to convert a sale, which means my cost of sale will be 0.74 multiply five. And I will not dig deeper because we have time to do so. That's the second part I want you to take a look at. If the PPC, if the advertisement is affordable and it is, if your price will be somewhere at $30. Now, I want you to take a look at the overview of this product because this is where we're making the first decision if we want to analyze this product deeper. And we're looking at the keyword search volume. If we have enough of volume for our keywords using the graph, that's pretty much the same that we just seen on the previous page. And now we're looking at the quarterly median. This means if we have evergreen product or this product is having spike 
spikes during a year. And as we can tell, this product is super like more popular during Q1, which is January, February, March, and less popular on uh, April, May, June in the Q2. But generally speaking, it's an evergreen product and it's having some type of the pretty stable demand when you have pikes in several niches and between 22 2020 2021 this was happening because of the bug that was going out there in the past that's why some of those keywords being ranked because people have been home and they've been doing some extra fun and they've been doing activities just locally that's why some keywords been having spike and they are not having spike right now it doesn't mean the demand is not out there it means that this niche is just stable like it was before so you can compare like 2019 to 2022 right so this is where this comparison is happening and the next one that i want you to take a look is the deep dive i promised you three this is four different features so now we're looking at the deep dive and on the deep dive we're able to see the actual sales per day per product so and look at this graph this product is having an average over 100 sales a day. So right now in uh, June 1st, 2021, it was a little bit of drop, but generally speaking, this product is selling very well and they are having 180, 100, 130, uh, sometimes 40 sales a day so it's pretty pretty stable with the sales and same thing you can be you can compare with other products as well so this is the graph that shows you sales seven day moving average and trend line if this trend is going up or down so in the, with this product, the trend is a little bit down, but with this product, the trend is going up. And when you have these differences in between one product to another, even you are analyzing based on the same keyword, what is happening here, it means those products, those specific products are having somewhere a spike and somewhere they're slowing down. And because we're looking for the party decorations, those party decorations are different. That's why the situation with them, a lot of different stuff. And the last product we're looking on the page is actual decorations such as plates and tablecloth we are having here actually a little bit of growth but at the same time we can confirm for ourselves that this one is the evergreen product that we will be able to sell over a year three main things i want you to understand in this video is when you're analyzing the product via data dive you have to take a look at the amount of keywords you have to target the specific product the cost for ppc you're looking when you are about to launch the product the opportunity to rank your product on a page one when your competitors already out there making sales this is when we're looking at the green light and then to double check their sales the competitor sales using deep dive this is where you will be able to see if their sales been slowing down and if those products is actually being in trends over a year or they have somewhere spikes or slowing down or upside down so you will be aware about the specific customization or you will make a decision if you want to go and this and sell this product or not and again if you want to learn more here is the link to schedule a call with us and we will be happy to find out the best opportunity for you to launch your business on Amazon and if we can make something and do for you something for free we're always happy to help.